God damn. Wow, what a nice picture. Wow, I should be a photographer as I can take such nice pictures. Hi, I'm an undergraduate research assistant, Q, working for material science and engineering department at the University of Maryland, College Park. Photography is a technique used to make pictures by capturing light on a light sensitive material, such as the sensor in your digital camera. Can you believe if the same technique is as photography is used to make various electric circuits, including Pentium processors in your computer or any kind of processors in your game machines. What you are looking at right now is a Pentium 2 processor and the complicating circuit lines to make such a circuit. As I said before, the technique of photography is used. The technique is called photolithography. Although photolithography is not exactly the same as photography due to different medium and light source used, you can easily notice that the two words actually sound alike. Let me introduce photolithography in more detail. Let's go! Come on! On a silicon wafer, in the photoresist, put a patterning mask over the photoresist. Expose it to UV light. Patterning mask will block some of UV light in order to make certain pattern on photoresist. Pink colored part is where exposed. After exposure, take off the exposed photoresist with developing process. During this process, exposed photoresist will easily come off and there will be a clear pattern at the end. This is the end of photolithography and let me show you how this is done experimentally. Yeah, now we are in the clear room. This is for the silicon wafer. It's very shiny, right? Now I'm going to spin the photoresist on the wafer. Nicely spread it around the wafer. Spin it. It's done now. Photoresist is on the silicon wafer. Now I will give it 30 minutes of hard vacuum for dehydration. Now it's time for exposing. This is UV light source. And this is mask, patterning mask. And right here I have the wafer. Basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this mask over the top of the wafer and then expose that to the UV light. I'm going to expose it for 15 seconds. Let's go. This is exposed to wafer. What I'm going to do now is going to develop the photoresist. What I have here is I have exposed the wafer with the photoresist and I have the developer. The developed wafer and this is a mess. Those two are the same right here. This is the end of photolithography. 